If you're one of the fortunate ones somewhere in the second quarter of a game or on your second drink, life can get just good enough to forget we're in a pandemic. Of course, for many others, life doesn't feel much different now than it did back in the spring. The pay isn't what it used to be. The bills are. Which is why so many people are in support of another stimulus check. We get calls about it here all the time. People are desperate for just a little extra money to get them by. So tonight we're taking the issue 360 beginning in Golden, where Denver 7 Sloan Dickey found small businesses and patrons alike could really use the cash. Golden is, for me, it's the cutest little town. I'm going to do the sweater weather. You're so lucky to be in a town where people care so much about the small businesses downtown. When times are tough, small towns like Golden stick together. It is a really tight-knit community. A community that's opened its doors to newcomers. We just opened this shop. It's our very first brick and mortar shop. We opened a year ago. One year ago, nobody could have predicted the toll of a pandemic. Trying to build a new business right after COVID is, it's, it's hard. And how to move forward. So when COVID first hit, it really just flipped my world upside down. It's impacted business owners and employees alike. Well, I'm not gonna lie, when I first got furloughed, I was terrified. Anxious about the unknown. So that first stimulus check was amazing. Right now, Congress is debating a new stimulus bill. It's huge for us for people to have money to spend and to give them the ability to go out and treat themselves every once in a while. But where that money should go depends on your perspective. We're seeing record unemployment numbers right now. It's critical that we help people get through. For small business owners like Melissa, programs like the PPP loan have been critical. I think it is really important that we, you know, there's some sort of assistance for the businesses that are prepping for really slow months. Employees like Sarah say government stimulus needs to make up the difference in wages. A second stimulus check to individuals could help. It makes a world of a difference to people like me working in the service industries. And customers like Nalisha want to make sure the nearly 14 million unemployed Americans have some way to stay afloat. I think the money should be helped to help the unemployed. Um, help them get through this tough time. No matter the decision, most agree on one thing. I think small businesses are the lifeblood of a community. That lifeblood is struggling. They have limited ability to get through crises, unlike your, you know, blue chip, large cap, Fortune 500 companies. So as Congress decides what to do next. I want them to put themselves in people's shoes who work paycheck to paycheck. Um, and just think about how losing a job might affect their entire life. Look to small towns like Golden. Having that, any sort of resource to just like give us the peace of mind of knowing that we have that to keep our doors open is, makes all the difference. Fighting to stick together and keep its doors open. Sloan Dickey, Denver 7. And now to the politics. Today, a bipartisan group of House members called the Problem Solvers Caucus introduced a $1.5 trillion aid package. It includes another stimulus check, provides rental assistance, and extends the moratorium on evictions. It also has very little shot of passing. Democrats don't think it goes far enough. Republicans say it's about a trillion dollars too expensive. And we asked some of our representatives what they'd like to see in a stimulus bill. And Congressman Ed Perlmutter, a Democrat, told us, quote, I believe any package must have subst substantial state and local funding and direct relief for the hardworking people in the middle. Republican Congressman Ken Buck said, quote, the federal government should look at targeted funding for those who need it, but we cannot use this crisis as an excuse to saddle our children and grandchildren with trillions more in debt. An economist like Macklin Klaus agrees that Buck's concerns about the national debt are warranted. What he disagrees with is the notion that preventing future deficits is more pressing than helping the person who can't pay rent today. We've got people whose, whose survival depends on help some sort of help, whether it be stimulus checks, whether it be the, the payroll protection plan that uh, we did to, to help small businesses so that people can stay employed and still have some source of income. Those are the things that, that we need to do immediately. And when we say, well, what about the problems in the future? Well, we've got to get through the present before we can worry about the future. Now, let's say Congress resumes before the election, gets along swimmingly and approves another stimulus package. How much money is enough? 43% of the people polled by Emerson College said that a second check of $1,200 would not cut it. 45% said the extra $600 a week in unemployment benefits should be reduced. It has. 
After the original bill expired, people received no additional benefits from the feds until the passage and implementation of President Trump's executive order. That provides $300 a week for six weeks. Now, one thing is for certain, there is no one stimulus package large enough to get us out of the mess we're in. But it's clear that they do at least help in the short term. And when put together with enough ambition and direction, well, the long term as well. President Herbert Hoover thought the U.S. could get through the Great Depression by tightening its belt. He detested what he called handouts and believed it was not the government's job to save people from economic ruin. The people saw it differently and replaced him with Franklin Delano Roosevelt. His new deal would create countless jobs and infrastructure. Banks fell under new oversight. Social Security was established. Even then, the U.S. would not fully emerge from the crisis until World War II. Okay, to 2008, President George W. Bush signed an economic stimulus act to stave off the looming recession. $600 checks were mailed out. Parents received an additional $300 for each child. Loan limits were raised for Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. And the recession, as you know, came anyway. And Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac had to be rescued by the Treasury Department. A year later, President Barack Obama would spearhead his own $832 billion package. Some veterans and people on Social Security received checks of $250. The average taxpayer saw a tax credit of $400. College students and first-time homebuyers also benefited from credits. Eventually, the economy improved and the unemployment rate dropped, albeit at a painfully slow rate. Average wages dipped as well. They were finally beginning to rebound when the pandemic hit. And now that you've heard from your neighbors, Congress, and listened to our history spiel, we want to hear from you. Do you think it's time for another stimulus package? If another agreement can be reached, would you like to see it come with some social programs like the ones enacted by FDR? You can share your thoughts, and we sure hope you do, with an email to 360 at thedenverchannel.com.